Greetings, I'm Robin and welcome along to Book of the Week number 11. And this week it is Joseph Kudelka's book Gypsies, a remarkable book which has been 50 years in the making. What's the story there then? Joseph Kudalka was born in the late 1930s in Czechoslovakia. By the 60s, he had developed a real love of music and was beginning to seriously get into photography. He set out to make photo projects, and a really big one involved the gypsy communities. This combined his love of music and photography, I think. The very different musical traditions really fascinated him. Over 10 years, he made an amazing body of work. Over the last five decades, they've been presented in various ways, which he's been continually working, reworking and perfecting. And this version of Gypsies was published in 2019. It includes two essays, one telling you about his life and one talking about the Roma experience uh, throughout history, which is a fascinating and, and really vital read. Some of the themes which recur in our book of the week this week include music, community, family, childhood, rural life and death. The book layout can be a bit challenging for video purposes. You'll see that it takes me quite a long time to get the hang of it. There's roughly an equal number of landscape and portrait format photographs, all presented at the same size. So his presentation is one photograph per two pages, which really means that you can focus on that photograph and you have to remember what came before it. It also means that you don't get the image across the gutter and I just think spreading one photograph over two pages is very often a terrible idea. So this is a great idea, but does make for a lot of book turning. But that in itself can actually mean that it's much more of a kind of a physical process of being involved. If reading this book and looking at these photographs, you're, you're mechanically involved, not just looking, which I think is a good thing. Some of you will know that I'm studying an MA in photography and we had a fascinating session just last week with our module leader about the difference between story and sequence and series. In a way, story's not such a thing in photography. Sometimes you may have a narrative beginning, middle and end, but it's, it's not very common and it doesn't need to be the aim. So we're mainly looking at the difference between series and sequence. So what is a series? A series is basically a set of images where each one influences the next. So you go from one to two to three to four to five and you sort of never deviate from the series. Whereas a sequence could be more interactive, more about comparing maybe something on page 40 with something on page 20 or repeating an idea, repeating a theme and, and referencing backwards and forwards throughout the work. And perhaps again, a more involving idea which has more to do with the way that you look at the photographs and, and it requires you to spend some energy and some sort of you know intellect on it which is you know, quite an interesting thing Thank you.
the fact that today you could buy this book for £14 today, delivered today, from you know who and you know where, is pretty mind blowing. Because it's a remarkable book, and that's just a kind of a cra crazy price. I'm going to definitely get some more of his books, and I'm probably going to look at this book again when I'm finished. It's a long video. We're both still here, so I appreciate that. And I'll leave you with this one kind of final thought for the day. Here's one final photograph. What are the chances that either of us will take a photo as good as this this year? And what can we do to try and make that happen? Hmm. Good luck. <laughs>